high. The purpose here will be to evoke the electronic configuration of atoms. Here you have the first three rows of a table. Some elements are stored there. This will allow us to know the electronic structure of each. To know how many electrons there are, it suffices to know how many protons there are, since, in an atom, there are as many. And this is written in the table. It is Z, which is the number of electric charges in the nucleus. It is called the atomic number. H. Hydrogen. It is the smallest atom. It's on the first row, which corresponds to shell K. It is schematized here with this Lewis diagram. There is only one dot, next to the element symbol. Because the atom has only one electron. It is a valence electron. This means that this situation will not last because a single electron is not happy. The electron will either leave, or associate with another, which it will have found in the electron cloud of another atom. The next. Helium. Atomic number 2. is represented by a bar there. It is a pair of electrons. This element is placed at the end of the line because the K shell is saturated. His two electrons are happy. The helium atom therefore does not react with any other atom. It forms an inert gas. All the gases in this column are inert gases. We also say noble gases. Lithium. Three electrons. The two of the K-shell are not represented on the Lewis diagram because they will not participate in any exchange, any binding. Here is the electron alone of the L-shell. Lewis only shows the outer shell. A bachelor, as in hydrogen. So lithium could well have the same chemical behavior as hydrogen. As well as everyone else on that column. They do not have the same electronic structure but will participate in the same types of reactions. You begin to understand how the items are arranged. Beryllium has four electrons. But Lewis only shows the two independent of the L shell. Each one can participate in a bond. They are valence electrons. His Lewis diagram is the same on all the column. It will always be true. Same column, same diagram. Boron has three valence electrons. And carbon has four. This is why methane, CH4, exists. Nitrogen. So now we have to do weddings. There are couples who will start to form. There are three singles and a couple. There. For oxygen. There are two couples and two singles. Fluoride. Three couples and one who is single. Three pairs if you prefer, sorry. Not three couples. And a single one. Neon. Any. 
is saturated. All those on the right, here, we have the saturated outer shell. For this, the neon is neutral. Chemically inert. He's not going to react. It is not going to react with any other element to make any molecules. In contrast, sodium Na. We find what I said earlier. It will have the same behavior as lithium or hydrogen. Why? Because it is an electron exposed to chemical reactions. A valence electron. So, I accelerate, you understand. Magnesium. Aluminum. Etc. 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 Until argon which is saturated. Argon. If you are asked to write the electronic structure of argon, it is K2 liters 8 m8. Write like this. With parentheses. The K shell has two electrons. The L shell has eight, so it is saturated. And the M shell has eight electrons, it is saturated. Argon is an inert gas. It will not react chemically. This is what I could tell you about the Lewis representation for the first three lines of the periodic table. That's it for this video. Thank you.